guys if you love to learn how to make this beautiful dress please stay tuned and if you've not subscribed please hit the subscribe button thank you hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is comfort i'm a fashion tutor i create content around the sewing niche including pattern drafting cotton on sewing diy and i upload new videos every week so guys you're welcome and if you've not subscribed to this channel please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of my videos so in this tutorial i'll be teaching us how to cut and sew a pant and a crop top it's more of like a crop top and also it's a two-piece so sit back as i take you along so i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two and i've secured it and off a spin so i'll go ahead and draw a straight line this will serve as my starting line so now from my starting line mark two inches this will serve as your waist you'll be attaching you'll be inserting a waist and elastic um, band to it so it will serve as your casing for your elastic band so now from that two inches go ahead and mark your hip 8.5 inches now you go ahead and mark your half length that's your knee length mine is 24 inches so we'll just go ahead and connect with a straight line your hip and your half length that's your knee length sorry guys my chalk isn't really reflecting so please just bear with me but i'll make sure to explain so we we'll understand like i said from your um waist go down by 8.5 inches now we'll be marking our crotch my the measurement i'm working with is 11 inches that's the hip i'm working with is 39 normally our crotch is supposed to be 10 inches but i added one inch to it that is 11 inches since we are cutting the front and the back equally we are cutting the front and the back equally so you just go ahead and add one inch to your crotch measurement the hip measurement 8.5 crotch 11 inches half length 24 inches that's the knee length so i'll go ahead and mark my full length that's from the knee length my full length is 42 inches so i added two inches to it for hemming that's 44 inches so i'll just go one more time again for us to understand now like i said from our starting line i came down by two inches we'll be attaching the waist i mean an elastic band to it that will serve as our waist so now from that two inches i came down by 8.5 inches for the hip and 11 inches for our crotch measurement now 24 inches this is our nail length and from the 24 inches that's the full length that is 42 inches and i added two inches to it now guys the hip i'm working with is 39 inches for you to know your crotch measurement 39 divided by 4 is 9.75 plus 1 inch that's approximately 10 inches normally our, hip, our crotch is supposed to be 10 but since we are cutting the front and the back equally i added 1 inch to that 10 that is 11 inches so now from the folded edge i'll go ahead and mark 11 inches that is for the waist that was 10 inches plus 1 inch making it 11 inches that's for the waist so whatever you have for the waist you go ahead and mark the same thing on your hip that's what came down that's where your 8.5 inches is for your hip just go ahead and mark 11 inches now your crush measurement which is 11 from your folded edge down is 11 inches go ahead and mark 11 inches also so go ahead and connect these three points now the waist is 11 inches the hip is 11 inches and the crotch measurement as well is 11 inches go ahead and mark a straight line we we'll connecting this line and see i've gone ahead to connect the line so now guys her lap measurement is 24 inches so go ahead and divide your lap measurement by two that's 24 divided by two is 12. now from your crotch measurement i placed my tape rod and marked 12 inches Add one inch to it so we have um two inches you get if you're on a big size you can go ahead and add two inches 
to your lab measurements. So go ahead and connect. So go ahead and use your curve ruler or you can use your free hand. Now from the hip, you go ahead and draw a curve for your crotch extension. That's the two inches that we marked. That's on the crotch. That's our lap measurement, which we divided by two and we added one inch to it. So just go ahead and connect like so that how I've done already. So now guys, from the crotch extension, we'll be connecting down to the knee length. The lap I'm working with is 24 inches divided by two 12 inches. Now from your knee length, just place your lap measurement, that is the 12 inches. Now, because of this tutorial, I'll just be connecting from the crotch extension straight. But if you don't want, or if you don't want how I, I want to make my, you just connect from your crotch extension, connect it to the 12 inches on your nail length. That is your lap measurement, which is divided by two. You just connect. But I'll just connect straight from my crotch extension. I'll be connecting the line straight. Let me go one more time and explain so we understand. So now I went ahead and drew my starting line. From the starting line, I came down by two inches for band kissing. Now from these two inches, I went ahead and mark 8.5 inches for the hip. Now from the 8.5, I mark 11 inches for the crotch. Now from the crotch, I marked 24 inches. That's our knee length and our full length. Now the hip I'm working with is 39 inches divided by 4 approximately 10 plus 1 inches is 11. So whatever I'm marking on my hip which is 11 inches I'll go ahead and mark the same on my waist because of the elastic band will be attaching. So now on the hip I mark 11 inches and the crush measurement too is 11 inches as well connected with the straight line. Now on my crotch I placed my tape rule and marked my lap measurement. The lap I'm working with is 24 inches divided by 2, 12. And I had her head and added one extra inch to it. That is 13. Go ahead and connect a curve like so for the crush extension. So now from the folded edge, the crush extension is 12 inches. And I went ahead and marked a straight line from that crush extension down straight. So I'll go ahead and cut. And this is me cutting the starting line. Just go ahead and cut like so from your folded edge ensure to cut it on your front piece we'll be having two piece so guys we'll be cutting the back and the back is always bigger than the front because of our bomb bomb so just go ahead and place your front piece that we've cut on top of um um your material it should be folded as well you go ahead and fold um, your material and place the front piece on top. Come inwards by 2 inches. If you have a big size, please come inwards by 3 inches. So, so this means checking the back piece to be, to, to be ensure that it's up to 2 inches that I came inwards with. So, after you're done, after you're done checking, the way hip I'm working with is 39 inches. So if from 14 inches above, please come inwards by 3 inches. So you go ahead and cut. So we'll be cutting like so. That's the waist that I'm cutting. So guys, please ensure to open up your back piece. Divide that folded edge into two.
so now guys this is our front piece and this is our back piece so the back piece we have two pieces so we'll go ahead and so with half an inch we'll be connecting the back pieces together we sew with half an inch on the crotch that's from the waist down to the crotch we'll be connecting with half an inch i'll just go ahead and show us so guys i've gone ahead to connect my two pieces together with half an inch that's the back piece i've gone ahead to connect and there's the front um, piece i've gone ahead to connect from the waist to the crotch with half an inch so just go ahead and high on open up your the um allowance that you've sewn just go ahead and high on so we'll just go ahead and place your just place your front piece on the back piece like so place your front to your back piece guys do not mind your back piece always bigger than your front so just place it like so from the waist you just sew down with one inch after you're done sewing on the other side just go ahead and connect um, this other side with one inch so now guys i'm going ahead to connect my back piece to my front piece with one inch on both sides i've joined them together with one inch on both side as you can see so now guys the next thing to do is to um join your front piece and your back piece will be joined with half an inch that's the crotch extension will be joining with half an inch so just go ahead and join with half an inch so i'll just go ahead and connect and show us i'll be back so guys i'm done connecting my front and back pieces together with half an inch on the crush extension so now the next thing to do is for us to come down by two inches you know earlier we came down by two inches for the band casing so you go ahead and fold half an inch like so you iron and shut to iron first before sewing then you fold again with 1.5 inches making it two inches for the band casing so you go ahead and sew around like so now this is the band i'll be using I, I'm, I wasn't really having um the other band so this is the one that is um available so now her waist is 29 inches now 29 inches you minus six inches whatever you have on your waist if your waist is 29 inches go ahead and minus six inches from it and cut the elastic band so go ahead and so i go ahead and sew my casing and i'll be back so guys i've gone ahead to insert my band i join with half an inch so just go ahead and insert it inside like so and just so the band i'm working with is more than one inch so I'll just manage it like so like that so after you're done sewing your band you go ahead and fold your fabric like so just fold your fabric like so so you can be able to hem your your full length your trouser full length just fold like so and fold so you can fold equally so that it will be equal on both sides two gates just fold with two inches so we're back guys so now guys we'll be cutting the top that's the crop top and we'll be cutting the front and the back together and i have two pieces the front and the back as you can see now guys i'll go ahead and draw a straight line which will serve as my starting line So now guys her shoulder measurement is 14 inches 14 divided by 2 is 7 inches now from this folded edge you come in words and mark um 7.5 i added half an inch for our uh, allowance for joining the sleeve so now 
I'll go ahead from the starting line. I came down by one inch for a shoulder loop. So I'll go ahead and connect to the starting line. Connect from the shoulder loop. Connect it like so. So now from your marked um, slope, we'll go ahead and insert our chest line. The bust measurement is um, 35 inches. 35 inches divided by 6 is um, 5.83 5.83 plus 1.5 inches. You go ahead and insert your chest line. That will be your new chest line. The shoulder slope. I have 7.5 inches so half of it so you just go ahead and mark half of um, whatever you have from your shoulder slope down to your chest line you come in with 0.5 inches and connect like so for your ham hole that is your front ham hole just go ahead and connect like so for your ham hole So now guys, from your starting line, go ahead and um, in mark your waistline and I added one extra inch for joining band to it. So now my waist, the waist I'm working with is 29 inches. 29 divided by 4 is 7.25 plus 3 inches. I added 3 inches to it, that is 10.25. So I went ahead and marked my 10.25. So now my bust measurement is 35 inches. 35 divided by 4 is 8.75. 8.75 plus 3 inches, 11.75. So I went ahead and marked 12 inches and I connected like so. Now for the neck width, the neck width I'm working with is, seven, I mean, sorry, 4.5 inches. Now from the folded edge, go ahead and mark 4.5 inches you know we are not in certain zips so the neck actually needs to be wider enough so that you, the head can pass through so i came down by four point i mean sorry four inches sorry for the neck depth so just go ahead and connect your neck that's the neck width is 4.5 inches and the neck depth is four inches but you can go ahead if you want your neck to be higher enough you can do three inches so just go ahead and connect like so and I'll cut the neck Now, sorry guys, the back neck is 2 inches. I came down by 2 inches for the back neck. So, now for the back, I just go ahead. And the width still remains 4.5 inches. Why the neck depth is 2 inches. So, I just go ahead and connect the back neck. I'll go ahead and cut the back first. Please do not cut the front first. Go ahead and cut the back neck first. So now guys, this is the neck, I mean the shoulder slope. You go ahead and cut your back ham hole first. Your back ham hole, we didn't come inward with the 0 0.5 inches. It's only the front that we came inward with 0 0.5 inches. Cut the back ham hole first. So after you're done, you go ahead and cut your neck, your neck depth, which is four inches. So now this is me cutting the neck for the front. So guys, so 
the video is already getting long enough so i'll drop the link to this next video we'll be continuing from the next video please i'll be dropping the link on the description box please ensure to click on the link so you could watch the remaining parts of um, the tutorial thank you guys